Good morning. My name is Irom Ablu. I'm teaching as assistant professor in the Department of Physics, JM College of Science. Today, we'll discuss random walk and the binomial distribution. In the random walk problem, we consider a man, a drunk man, who starts out from a lamppost on a street. And we assume that this man takes equal steps. That is the step length remains constant. And so this is, let's take, he's moving along the x-axis and he can move towards his right, towards the right or towards the left. And suppose the lamppost, we assign x is equal to zero and the step length is L. So L is equal to the step length and we assume that at any position the motion of the man whether towards the right or towards the left is independent of the motion in the preceding step and we assign a probability okay, a p for taking a step towards the right p is equal to probability of taking a step towards the right. So the and the Q is equal to probability of taking a step towards the left. So the Q is equal to 1 minus V. So after, after this starting out, this drunk man, he takes, he may take steps towards the left or right. And, and after some time, suppose that he has taken a total of n steps. Then we, we would like to find out what is the, what is the probability that this man has taken n1 steps towards the right. Okay. So we want to find out the pn of n1. Okay. The probability of taking n1 steps towards the right out of a total of capital N steps. n1 is equal to number of steps towards the right. So this, so this problem we can find out by considering a statistical ensemble consisting of a large number, say suppose curly n, which is a large number of, of identical men, which is starting out from identical lampposts and, 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 fi and finding out how many of these men they have, they, have, they have taken steps n1 steps towards the right out of a total of n steps. Or we can also find out this probability by, by letting this man to, 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 to undertake random walk for this curly n number of times and then finding out in how many of this time, these random walks he has taken n1 steps out of capital number of capital n number of steps. So let us find out what is this this probability. And we can also we can also express okay in another way okay. if uh, if n2 is equal to number of steps towards the left then 
m, uh, we define it as n1 minus n2, gives the net displacement of the man from the lamppost in, in units of the staff length. So what is the, we, we, want, we want to find out what is the probability that after taking capital N number of steps, he will be at a net displacement M. So this man can, can move okay, a total number of N, uh, N steps, out of which N1 steps he takes in the right, in, in, towards the right, he can take in a number of ways. The simplest one being, say suppose that this man takes N1 steps continuously towards the right, and then he takes N2 steps towards the left. So let's find out what is this, uh, the probability. The probability will be P, P for the first step towards the right, then another P for the next step towards the right, and so on. And, and last, this P, so number of P will be n1 times. Then similarly for the steps taken towards the left, the probabilities we will have for these steps n2 times. And there are a number of ways in which he can, he can, uh, he can take n1 steps towards the right out of this total number of n steps. For example, he can move towards the right by taking n, n1 minus 1 steps towards the right and then takes back n2 steps towards the left and then, uh, and then la the final step towards the right and so on. So what is the total number of these, these, these ways, such ways possible? It is given by n factorial over n1 factorial n2 factorial and this is the is the is the required the probability that we want to find out which is the probability of of taking n1 steps towards the right out of a total of n steps okay this is equal to this is equal to n1 factor n, n factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, p to the power n1, q to the power n2. Okay, so this is a familiar looking ex uh, expression from, from the binomial expansion of the p plus q to the power n. This is equal to sum over n, one is equal to zero to capital N, N factorial, divided by N1 factorial, N2 factorial, P to the power N1, Q to the power N2. So this is the binomial expansion of P plus Q to the power N. So that's why we call this the binomial distribution. Okay, in terms of M, let us find this out because N1, uh, this M is equal to N1 minus N2. Again, N2 is equal to capital N minus N1. So is equal to 2 N1 minus N. So N1 is equal to capital N plus M divided by 2. And similarly, we'll have N2 is equal to N minus M divided by 2. So we can, we can write down P N M is equal to capital N factorial N plus M by 2 factorial N minus M by 2 factorial V to the power n plus m by 2 factorial and q to the power n minus m by 2 factorial. Okay, 
So this random work problem is very important in physics. It has importance in the magnetism and in the diffusion of gas molecules and, and also in, 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 uh, in stellar physics. In, say, in the stars, inside the stars, there is a core where, where the nuclear reactions are taking place. And, 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 this, uh, and this core is at very high temperature. So from this core, the photons, high energy photons in the X-rays and the gamma rays, they are coming out. And, and inside this star, inside the core also, these gamma ray photons, they are, they are, they are colliding. Okay. They collide, keep on colliding with the, the electrons the nuclei and the ions present. So they keep on moving in a very zigzag way. So they, they undergo a three-dimensional random walk. These photons undergo the three-dimensional random walk. And, and due to these collisions, they keep on losing their energy. So by the time they come out of this photosphere, their energy is reduced. Okay. And, and, they are, and they, these photons, they are in the optical region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And the, the importance of this random work is that, due to this random work, it takes a long time, okay? Photon takes a long time uh, to come out of this, this star. Say for a, uh, for, a, uh, for a star of solar mass, this time, tau, tau, tau escape, okay, from, uh, from the photosphere is, is around 30,000 years is compared to the, the free flight time. Tau free flight about 2.3 seconds. This is in years and this is in, in terms of seconds. So due to this, this, this time taken, uh, due to the random walk, uh, it, it helps in maintaining that the thermal stability of the, of the star. Okay, so uh, th that is about the importance of uh, importance of of random walk in the in, in in physics. Now let us find out the mean value of this distribution. So the mean n one bar is equal to we have n one summation n one is equal to zero to n n one p n n1. So this is equal to n1 is equal to 0 to capital N, n1. So we have n factorial, n1 factorial, n2 factorial, and we have n1 p to the power n1 q to the power N2. So this we can find out using the if we if we differentiate this p to the power n1 with respect to p we get n1 p to the power n1 minus 1. So if we, we, we multiply by another p then we get n1 p to the power n. So substitute this n1 p power n. So n1 is equal to 0 to n, n factorial, n1 factorial, n2 factorial. So p del del p of p power n1 q to the power n2. And this, we can, we can take out this this differential outside this summation. So P del del P of sum over N1 is equal to 0 to N, then N factorial, N1 factorial, N2 factorial, and P1 to the power N1, and P to the power N1, Q to the power N2. So this is nothing but and P del del P of, this is nothing but P plus Q 
to the power n, and we get np times p plus q to the power n minus 1. Since p plus q is equal to 1, we get n1 bar is equal to np. So this mean of n1, that is the number of steps is taken towards the right. Out of, out of a total of capital N steps is capital N times P. So for N2, we must get NQ. This you can, take, uh, you can calculate as assignment. This is as, as your assignment number one. Then let us find out what is N1 square, mean of N1 square. So for finding out the mean of n1 square, n1 square mean, so we'll have to put n1 square, again n1 square mean. So, so for this, we have to use, again, if we differentiate this another times okay we have to use another another relation so p del del p of p to the power n p del del p we differentiate it two times okay p del del p p power n p power n one then this will will get P del del P, so N1 P, P to the power N1 minus 1, so this is equal to N1 P del del P of P to the power again N1, so is equal to N1, so N1 square will be there, and P square p to the power n, p to the power n1, okay. So we, we substitute here, this is square, and, and, th and then finally, this will be, this will be equal to n1 is equal to zero to capital N. So we can take out del, del p, p, this is equal to this, so p to the power n1, Q, okay. This term n factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, p to the power n1, q to the power n2. Okay. So this is again n2, n1 square bar is equal to, this will be p del del p. This is square of p plus q to the power n, okay? And this, and it is, it is quite easy uh, to, to simplify this, and you take, uh, you take it as, uh, as assignment number two. To, uh, to find out this value, and the final value it will be n squared p squared plus n, P Q. So, so from this again we have n. This is n one bar square plus n P Q. Okay, this n one square bar is equal to n one bar square minus uh, plus n P Q. So this n one square bar minus n one bar square, which which is called. The, the dispersion, okay. Delta N1 square bar, which is the dispersion is equal to N P Q. This dispersion is equal to N P Q. So in the, uh, in the, in this binomial distribution, in the binomial distribution, this distribution will be like there will be
it will be a min, it will be n1 bar, and we are plotting here p n n1. So for for different steps about the min, this probabilities will the probability distribution will be like this. As as we move away from this min, it will de decrease. Okay. It will decrease. And remember that this binomial distribution, it is the discrete distribution. And, and if, we, if we float the envelope, the envelope of the distribution, and there will be some scatter about, the, about this mean. And this dispersion, okay. And uh, this dispersion is a measure of this scatter. And again, if we divide this dispersion, This, uh, this dispersion, okay, n1 bar, n1 square is bar, n1 square bar by the min, n1 bar, it gives as a, a, as a measure of how, how much uh, this distribution scatters about the min. So it is n p q divided by n, this will be under root, so this varies as 1 over, varies is 1 over under root of n, showing that as we increase the number of total steps, this will be, this distribution will be, uh, will be stiff, okay, it will be very stiff, okay, about this mean, okay, so thank you so much, and today I will finish uh, here, and in the, in the next lecture, uh, we'll discuss the relationship between the binomial distribution and the other distributions like the Gaussian distribution and the Poisson distribution. Thank you so much.